Well, fishing freaks, we are back in the mountains. Welcome back, y'all. We are doing a catch and cook. Kokanee salmon live up here in some of these mountain lakes, and we've actually moved camps. We were at a, a river camp, and we were catching some browns, and we did a little trout fishing down there, some rainbows. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, but we have moved locations up farther up in the mountains, higher altitude, and we've actually been stuck in the rain for the last 36 hours. So we, as we were coming in, it started raining. We realized we weren't gonna be able to camp right on the water at the lake because we wouldn't be able to get up. My buddy doesn't have four wheel drive. And in fact, I had to tow his camper up a big hill and he almost ripped his awning off of a tree. He had to do a little, little overlanding session there. But anyways, we're good at, at our spot right now. We just have to drive to the lake. The lake conditions have changed a lot since the last time I was here. So I'm not really sure how we're gonna be catching these fish, but I brought a lot of tackle and I am hungry. We've been rifling through our meals in the fridge, so it's time to catch and cook some salmon. And we might run into a few rainbows, but let's get some fish on the line, figure them out, have some fun. All right guys, we're actually gonna just start right here by this little pond because the water looks full, the fish look active. It just looks too good not to try. We've got some new fly line on here. Looks like there's some rainbows surfacing. Just gonna shoot our fly out there. See if we can get one on top. Oh yeah, I just saw another one surface out there. Oh, there's one right here. Perfect cast. Oh, got him. Oh, he took it. Got him. Oh, little guy. Little guy. It's nothing like those giant rainbows the other day. Feller, net you up. There we go. It's not even an eater. You want to see rainbow trout in me? Yeah, I want to see the rainbow. <gasps> see the pretty colors? Can I touch it? Yeah, just a little bit. There you go. Okay, yes, we'll, we'll put them back in the water right here and we'll watch it swim off, okay? <laughs> there it goes. See, there it goes. That was fun. Dry fly. Awesome. So I'm gonna try to catch a couple more of these. They're surfacing out here, and then uh, then we'll head to the the big lake and try to get some kokanees. If I can get my net hooked back. <laughs> You're a little high. Am I? There, there it goes. Go. All right. You can see those trout way out there. I put some new line on here before I left, and this this fly line is amazing. It's made by Rio, and so it's it's weighted more up front and it just shoots the line up there so good. Probably gonna cast farther than I ever have right here. Oh yeah, that's farther than I've ever casted. Oh, got him, there we go. That was a sweet strike right there, a little better fish too. Right on top, look at that. Oh, kids are so pumped right now to see the fish. Come here, buddy. Ah, there we go. One rainbow trout. Wow, he's wobbly. He is a wobbler, isn't he? That's a good one. That's a good eater right there, actually. Wobbly. I think these are all stocked anyways. All right, guys, this one's going on the stringer. Stick him right in the lake. Uh -oh. There we go. Oh, 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 nope. I see one. Yeah, that's the one daddy caught. No, you're not going to try to recatch it. But you can go over there. Oh, got him. Whoa. 
Eat it on top. Woo, baby, that's fun. Another little one. You want to net it for me, Emmy? Yeah, no, the one I got on. The one I have on, Emmy. See it? Oh, I gotta bring it in closer. Here, step down right here. I got a fish! Good job! Good job, Emmy girl! <laughs> you got it! My net girl! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's not as quite as big as the last one. Yeah. You want to let it go? Uh huh. Okay. Why don't you go? Uh, go put your net in the water, and you can let it swim off. <laughs> yep. You got to let him out. There you go. Good job. There he goes. <laughs> Ben didn't want that fish to go. <laughs> oh, the hook actually broke on this. Fly broke. Gotta get another one. All right, guys, we got a we got a couple of trout right now. <laughs> the kids are enthralled with the fish. They're so fascinated by them. That's the first time Amy's ever netted a fish for me. She's pretty pumped. Little Ben just wants to hold them. But if I can get a couple more that are a little bigger, I'll keep them, and then we'll move on to kokanee's. In my opinion they're a little tastier but catching them on a dry fly right now can't pass that up all right i'm putting on the rainbow killer put on a tiny little pink nymph supposedly good for rainbows oh there he is got him got him on the rainbow getter Little jump. Emmy, I got a fish. Can I reel it or can I net it? Well, you want to reel it? Yeah. Okay. This reel's a little different, but there you go. Hold it, you reel it with that. Hold this right here. Okay. There you go. I'll let you know when you need to stop, oh, okay? It. Hold your rod tip up. Hold it way up, in the air. There you go. All right, stop right there, stop reeling. And just bring the fish towards me with the fishing rod. Lift it up. Good job. There you go, Emmy. I caught a fish. Good job. I, I caught a fish, I caught a fish. <laughs> yes, you did, girl. <laughs> there we go. All right, Emmy. Hey, you know Ooh. what? I think we can put him on the stringer, Ooh. and we can we can cook him up tonight. <gasps> Won't that be good? Yes. That's a good little eater. That's a that's perfect for your size. All right, there we go. Ben, Ben is so pumped right now. Are you excited? There's another fish, Ben. You want to put it on the meat necklace? He's just all about it. I remember when I was a kid with the nets. Just give him a net. Well, he's also hooked on his line. <laughs> ah. Oh, he's hooked on his yeah. fishing line? Well, I think yeah. yeah, it's a rainbow. I'm still seeing him surfacing out here. I'm gonna keep casting. The kids are having a good time. Happy wife, happy kids. Fishing is good, life is good. All right, this nymph is just ultra slow sinking. So it's almost like a little emerger. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we came off. Uh, I put on that rainbow killer nymph. And I'm just, I'm just like working it under the surface. Oh, there he is. Oh, no.
course. Can't lose my rainbow killer. Only got one of these. Oh, oh no, I broke my line anyways. Oh, no. They're biting out there. I Dang it. Oh, I broke it off. Have to tie another one on. Dead gummit. Oh my god, no. Call that film. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well. Got him. Hey, Emmy, you want to reel this one in? Yeah. Remember to hold the rod high. Okay. Yep. Can you hold my hat? I sure can. Hold the rod high. Yep. Reel them in. There you go. Oh, I think you're letting the line out. You got to go the other way. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. it's flash. It's flash. <laughs> I like your technique, girl. <laughs> you just gotta run back with it. <laughs> I'm gonna catch your fish. Hold on, Em. Hold on. Stop, Keep it stop. coming. Keep reeling. Oh, that's a pretty good one there. Okay, we got him. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> it just, just throws my it. sage rod down. I caught a fish! Good job. Luke, I caught a fish! Mm, I caught a fish! High five, Ben. Caught a fish, Chloe. High five. Caught a fish. Slow high five. <laughs> Don't release it. It's a good eater. So. All right, guys, while we're at it, we're going to try to catch one more. We'll have our four trout limit and then we can move on to kokanee's just a little bit of rain starting to come down a little mountain weather this rain has just been with us for the last two days it seems i'm just watching my line to see if it just twitches I'm not using an indicator but i'll see it just doop. just twitch real quick and i'm setting the hook only missed one fish so far. I've been doing pretty good. Oh, there's one. Close. He was close in. Little little guy. Hair bigger than that. There you are in the net, buddy. Rainbow killer. There you go. Flies out. Flies out. Fishes out. <laughs> Keep saying one more, one more. I don't know if they're going to get bigger than that, honestly. There we go. Got him. Yep. Rainbow killer. This is going to be the last keeper, I think. Oh, yeah. Just rod bent. Rod bent with rainbows in the mountains. Got to smash it. All right. Literally, I was not expecting to catch our limit of rainbows. I was just going full kokanee mode, but now we got a mix of both. All right, calm you down, buddy. Keep you in the water right here. Get this little rainbow guy out. I don't want to lose this fly. That thing is obviously working. I'm going to try it in the lake, too. All right, guys, we just moved spots. We got our rainbows. We're gonna try to go after some kokanees. A little different area now. And we got some weather coming in, so we're suiting up for it. So I've got, I have my flies in here, but I also have one of my Guggen 
Bass Mafia small tackle boxes and it's got all of my spinners in it. So I can just switch up if I wanna fish the spinning rod or go fish conventional or fly. All right, so we'll take these down there. I think I'm just gonna take my, uh, my spinning rod and we'll try to get a couple of kokanees on here because they're just so tasty. There's one spot I really wanna to go to that I've usually caught a few, but I have caught some fish here before. It was just a lot lower. Let's see if we can find any little point or anything sticking out. It's gonna hold fish. That's usually where I get the kokanees. All right, eighth ounce spinner. Going out in this clear water. Make sure our drag's set, unless we get a, in case we get a sizable salmon on here. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, kokanee second cast. Forgot how crazy they are. Second cast, kokanee on. Well, y'all, we were unsuccessful in getting a salmon, but we do have our limit of trout. And in fact, all I saw in here was trout. I had, um, I had one salmon on, my second cast, and then it just, I don't know, a bite turned off something i don't know but we got plenty of fish for tonight which is good and uh, we're gonna clean them right here so cleaning trout the way i like to eat them at camp we'll just uh cut them up through the belly here go up to the gills and then cut them right behind the head And we'll just take the guts and the head all out at the same time. And then just press your thumb along that spine. Get all those little, little juices out. A good rinse. A good thorough rinse. And then that is going in a Ziploc. So once we get all these cleaned, We'll take them back to camp. Looks like there's a thunderstorm it might be rolling in. So we'll go ahead and get that fire started, get some coals going and get these fish on there. Well, fish and freaks, uh, sub-optimal conditions right now more of this mountain weather. We've been trying to dodge this rain the last four days and today it actually held off a lot for us. I'm really thankful that I got an opportunity like a four hour stretch to go fishing and not have to be in this stuff and uh, the trout on the fly was was awesome. At some point either elk hunting or just camping it just rains in the mountains and you can't really check the weather. The weather updates I normally do get they're not very accurate. Before I came here, I just made sure I had one of these. So one of the problems I've had up here with starting fires is lighters just tend to not work. I don't know if it's the altitude, the, the temperatures, uh, a lot of your basic lighters just don't work up here. So I always want to make sure I have a fire kit and another way to make a spark. So I do. And that's where the bushcraft knife is going to come in here in just a second. I have uh, some cotton balls in here and I also have a very special ingredient that I harvested last year up here in the mountains, and that is fatwood. Now fatwood, once you get it lit, if you have just a basic lighter and you can get it lit, this thing is like a, uh, like a candle. It will just stay lit, allow you to get some other little um, small tinders or, or small little um, kindling on top of that and get, keep that fire going. Now there was some coals in here, but the rain just kind of put them out. And unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of kindling that is really dry. I do have some dry oak in my truck bed, 
And I do have two pieces of pine that I've kept under my awning. So basically all that's lit right now is our is our fatwood. And some of this little pine, these small little pine branches. I'm trying to just dry them out. There's some more right here. If we can get those going, I think we'll be set. We got some fresh pine split, threw in some oak. We now have fire, y'all. So hopefully this rain, if it just stays like this, we'll be fine. And we're gonna season up those fish and some tenfold butter. Oh my gosh, been burning calories out here. You know, they're always gonna taste good. It tastes better at camp. Keep doing your thing. I don't think that one can be stopped now. That's a certified oak and pine fire. Perfect combination of crackle the pine, heat, and longevity of the oak. All right, we got our clean trout laid out right here. And we're just gonna put a little bit of butter in there. You know, probably about an eighth of a stick or an eighth of a, yeah, no, no, no too crazy. Just a little bit, about a pinky width size of butter. Stick it in there and then my best friend, for this has been SPG. Salt, pepper, garlic, can't go wrong with it. By the way, shout out to Gentry Customs for getting me this knife before this trip started. I've been waiting like five months to get this knife. And uh, anyway, he got it to me before this trip. Absolutely gorgeous camp knife. One I'll have for my the rest of my life probably. It's just been, uh, it's just been perfect for slicing, uh, cooking, batoning, uh, you know, starting fires, doing all that stuff. It's been really good. Been impressed with the knife. All right, SPG them up. Good on the inside, little on the outside. The key element that was missed on this trip was a lemon, but it's all right. We're gonna make up for it with our, uh, with our honey. It's gonna be excellent. Just double wrap these. So one on each side. We got just enough coals going already to get these fish going. The rain has stopped. I mean, we're cooking our fish over the fire. And you caught one of these fish. I know, but look at what I can do. <laughs> That's what too much time inside of the camper will do. That was a good bird dragonfly. High five? Yeah, there we go. Good job catching these trout too. You hungry for some trout? That means yes. Okay. All right, we're going to we're going to attempt to flip right now. What have you put my son in? <laughs> it's a little apron smock. He, he obviously does not like it. Well, he was crying because he touched something that he wasn't supposed to and it scared him. 
I'm doing five minutes each side. That's how I'm judging it. Just put it over hot coals, surrounded it with some. That's about it. So um, then layer of tin foil too. So there might be a couple of crispy spots, but caveman style, you gotta do what you gotta do. When you're in the mountains and you're hungry, it all tastes good anyway. Okay, it's been about five minutes each side, actually a little over. I took some extra coals, laid them on top. I'm gonna call it good. I am going to call it good. And we got rice cooking over here. Hopefully it is uh, doing something. We got some artwork too. Wow, and here's steamy cool. rice, there we go. It's gonna be a little mushy. Oh, complainer. That's <laughs> okay. You know what? Complainer I am here. not complaining one second because I haven't had to cook a single time on this trip. Or clean the dishes. <laughs> So, yeah. as long as you take care of the squirts and let me go fish, I will <laughs> gladly do all of it. So, all right, we're going to take these off of here, guys, and uh, plate them up. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Moment of truth. Is the tin foil hot? We got butter dripping now. All the trout. All the trout. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. What are we doing? I don't know. The key is, if you want to know if they're done, is if that skin is just peeling off. Oh, and they do be doing that. <laughs> they do be doing that. I will tell you, when you take his camp and I feel like you earn major brownie points. Why is that? Just well, cause... you just, you keep us safe. You give us adventure. You're out here chopping logs when it's raining and you're cooking and cleaning. I mean. Honey, I'm a, I'm a provider. There's, there's no... There's no question about that. I hope you know that. It's great. It's just like, dang, I made the right choice. Yeah. I you married. Did. I married a great one. You did. When the Armageddon comes, yeah, it'll be fine. Here we go. This looks perfectly done. I'm just gonna grab a piece of skin right here. Out here in the wilderness, craving them skins and fats. Maybe I should try that. Yes, sir. That is good. I think this is gonna be. Fire. Fire. Plate it up. Here we are. Look at that. We got the honey. That spicy honey on top. Good fire crackling. Let me get let me get a bite of this rice with the with the honey on it. Spectacular. We're gonna go in for the whole thing. I'm just scraping the bones off this trout. With the rice. Here we go. Wow. Honey, you gotta try this. Honey with honey. You gotta try this. Oh, you want to buy this one? Sure. Mm. You want to try a bite? Mm, that honey makes a, such a big difference. The honey's really nice. All right, you want a little, a little bit of the trout that you caught? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. A little bit of trout. Give me a few bones, and that's okay. Sorry. <laughs> a little bit of trout, a little bit of rice, and honey. There's honey on it. Mm. Bye-bye. What do you think about that? Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Ben's coming in for ben, a bite. You want some? Is it good? Oh, those rainbows are delicious. Those rainbows mm. are delicious. And you helped me. <laughs> We're just them. like surrounding Dad. <laughs> Let that me eat your makes food. them even more delicious than they were. Oh, I know. When you catch them yourself, they're always better. That's so funny, though. Yeah. Even if you get a little bone, sometimes on these rainbows, I just crunch it up and eat it. Can we have another bite? Well, you got your own plate over there. <laughs> Is it good? Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, oh, you like going it. Going back for more. Going back for more. Mm. They won't eat it if it's on their plate, but if it's on your plate, they will eat it. Rainbow trout covered in paint. Mm. It's a camp way with a Crayola yum, band aid. Yum, yum, yum. Is yum, it good? Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Here's the real test to see if it's done, guys. Full spinal tap right there. Hey. Yes, sir. Now the rest of our fish is just boneless and ready to eat. All right, buddy, we'll get you some more. Okay. Couple bones. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. 
thank you for tuning in. I, I sh just totally enjoy being up here <coughs> with my family and taking care of them and, and feeding them here in the wilderness and obviously catching fish. It's awesome. Well, it, There's just something about being in the wilderness, man. It just, it just lights my fire. So thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you on another outdoor adventure right here on Lake Fork. Got you. Smash that like button. We'll see you soon. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.